the question is asking the area of the complete bigger triangle okay statement one only talks about the angle it doesn't give us any length without length area cannot be determined so not sufficient statement two says a n is equal to a k is equal to 10 so this is this is 10 and this is 10 of course this is too little information to answer the question because nothing can be said about these parts so alone it is not sufficient let's combine and check a n is equal to a k is equal to 10 then it says this angle is 60 so see this is radius this angle is 60 this is also radius so the angles opposite to these two have to be equal so that means all three angles become 60 this becomes an equilateral triangle and therefore now if we join these two by the same logic in fact this is not needed come to think of it consider triangle a n m and triangle k n l now one angle is equal one angle n is common okay angle n is common so one angle becomes equal and one side is in proportion the a n upon k n is equal to half and same is the ratio for the other side is equal to n m upon n l so therefore we can say that uh, triangle a n m and k n l they are they are similar triangles the triangles are similar uh, area of a n m can of course be determined very easily root 3 upon 4 into 10 square and therefore area of the bigger triangle would be the common ratio is 2 so the area would be 2 square times of this so the area of triangle kl and the bigger triangle can be determined on combining the two and therefore c is the right answer choice